be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. Coming back to back with dope videos. Anyway, y'all, we're going to be making piano melodies in Logic Pro 10. And uh, basically, let's go ahead and jump right into it, man. First thing is first, we're going to create a software instrument track. And for this one, we're going to go with a default patch. And the cool thing about this actual tutorial is I'm not necessarily going to teach you music theory. I'm just going to actually show you how to draw in dope piano patterns patterns. So first things first, you need to pick a piano um, sound. I like the grand piano. So I'll just go to piano right here, grand piano. And the next thing we're going to do is click out of these windows and then go ahead and go to the scissors. And this is going to be your piano roll. Okay. Um, what I'll do is get like an eight bar or a four bar loop. We can start off with like a four bar and extend it. And pretty much, um, if you look at the measurements of time here, this is one bar, two bar, three bar, four bar. Each of these have different measurements of time on down to 16 notes on down to quarter notes, half notes, different things like that. So basically we could change the vibe of the music based on how long the note is. And then we replace them on the keyboard on the grid here. So just to keep things simple, we're going to start with C. And so I'm just going to go ahead and push command and draw in a note right here. And I don't want it to be that short. So what I'll do is extend it. All right. And it's always good to start off with a root note. And then like in, in your head, what you want to do is kind of think what type of melody you want to make. You want to make a sad melody, you want to make a trap melody, or we can call it pain melody, or a go-getter melody. So, depending on how, what type of melody you want, it's going to depend on the note length, really. If you want it to be more of like a trappy type of melody, the um, notes are going to be shorter. And if you want it to be pain, they're going to be a little longer. So, we're going to do it like a pain melody. And basically, I'm just playing every um, every eighth note. Basically, I'm putting another note, or is that quarter note? Yes, yeah, every eighth note. All right, cool. So basically, I just sounded that out in my head. And um, one good thing to do is, is you could just take it note by note. Once you play this root note, you think about like in your head, what note should come next? If, if you hear like a boom, boom, then you're just going to basically keep moving the notes around until you find a note next note. And then you're going to hear another note after that. You keep on moving the notes around until you find a note that, that works well with everything. So that's pretty much what I did here. All I got to do now is just take this and um, hold down the option and drag this over. And we have a pretty dope pattern right here. And I can add little variations just to make sure that it doesn't sound too repetitive.
All right, so that sounds pretty dope. But really, to bring this a lot, uh, make this core pattern come alive here, what I would want to do is, um, first of all, we're going to bounce this. Some, well, actually, no. Nah, before we bounce to the place, we're going to add some more melody. So I'm just going to go ahead and double this, push Command D. And what we're going to do is do like a counter melody, something to kind of go along with it, but maybe higher. Then I can take this melody and move it down some. So I hold down option. Basically, it's some piano melody, and it's it's just it's kind of busy, but when you mix everything together here, it can sound pretty dope. So what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna bounce both of these to in place, highlight both of them, bounce in place by right clicking, um, include the tail, playing vol volume automation, all that's cool. Make sure it normalizes off. And then now this is a version of all of these. And now what you could do is you could throw some uh, different effects on it. We'll put this Murder Melodies plugin on here and see what it sounds like.
You can keep messing with this. You can double it up with other effects. Um, put a vinyl effect on it. And then once you get it like how you like it, you can take it and then drag it over here to the quick sampler area. <clears throat> Basically in Logic, if you drag any type of sample or anything over here to this gray area, you can create a brand new track. And now I can take this, I can mute this out and I can like play this to different octaves. I can uh, reverse it. So let's check out how it sounds reversed. I got my musical type in, just push command K. So that could actually go for something. That could actually that could actually sounds like it could be something. So what we could do now, we could turn this into a whole beat. Maybe cut out some of the low parts. Double up the plugins again. Cool. So now we have this dope melody that we made from scratch. Basically made a piano sample. Then I can come over here, create a new track, and I can add like some bass or whatever. And I messed up on the note here, but it's all good. I was actually looking for a bass guitar type vibe, but this is gonna work too good too. Some accent notes. It's already too much. We're just gonna take that out. Y'all know the vibes, man. I'm trying. I'm looking for like a good bass. Sound. Yeah. 
And now this can be, we can take this, bounce this in place, just the piano. You can even do this uh, bass. And then this can even go be high pitch. saying now we got a whole beat right here just ready to go just off of the piano melody that we created starting off from here then adding this other part then coming over here blending them together and put some more effect. And of which we could actually come around here and use this guy right here. For real, for real, as another layer that doesn't have so much effects or different stuff on. And this is basically what I'm doing is just trying to create different or not trying, but creating different parts of the song. But y'all basically see how I made this piano melody. It's pretty dope. I think it's going to be a lit song. I'll probably make this and turn this into an actual beat in another, you know, video. Um, but yeah, man, appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you in the next one.